you feel like a different pitcher than you were in, in previous years? You know, kind of you feel like you, you're taking more of a, a fearless approach at, at this stage of your career here? Um, yeah, I would say, yeah. I mean, you know, 19 was my first, you know, bulk year of, of you know, big league season. Uh, you know, last year was shortened by, by COVID. Uh, you know, coming into this year, you know, uh, my confidence is, is a little better and, and you know, I, I'm throwing a little harder. So, yeah, it gives me a boost of confidence to go out there and, and try and, uh, you know, shut people down. Take the next question for Dan Martin. Yes, sir. Uh, Aaron Boone just said that, you know, um, he, he thinks that you don't get enough credit for your, how good your stuff is because of, you know, you, most people think you're just getting by on deception but do you and your craftiness. But do you think that there that your stuff has improved over the past couple of years? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, my stuff has has gotten a little, uh, you know, a little better. Uh, you know, my command has gotten a lot better, too. So I think that's that's what's working for me most. Um, but yeah, a lot of people think I'm I'm a crafty lefty, which which I am, you know, it, to, to a certain point. But uh, I think my my, my pitchers I, my pitches have gone a little have got got a little crisper. You can go next for Randy Miller. You know, Stray, Aaron, Aaron talks about your versatility, being able to pitch in any role. Uh, but now you've had two starts. You're building up your pitch count. Uh, do you sense that there might be an opportunity here uh, to to stay in the rotation? Is that what you would like? Uh, I'm gonna take what I can get at this point. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm I'm happy that you know the team is gonna get it back on track for sure. Uh, you know we're winning games and and hopefully you know after the break we keep this going. And, and one more thing, uh, Aaron said that uh, when you came up that uh, he joked with you about your mustache, teased you a little bit. What what are the origins behind that? Did you ever have that before this time? And is it now uh, is it almost superstitious? You're pitching so well that it's staying. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a different look. Obviously, the Yankees don't allow facial hair, but you know they allow the mustache, and it's something that I that, that I'm rolling with. And you know, maybe it's, it's bringing me some luck, so I'm gonna stay with it and roll with it. Do the hitters focus on the mustache? Am I, am I missing something here? <laughs> anyway, somebody's writing a story about the mustache, or at least a few notes. But in the meantime, it, the question is, what to do with him right now? I mean, 74 pitches tonight, almost got you through five. Just keep throwing him out there as a starter right now, right? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I think about Nestor Cortez and listening to him said, I'll take what I can get, and that should be his attitude. This guy's been up and down, fighting for a job, fighting for a spot. He is not going to sit in front of the media and say, yeah, I'm supposed to be in the rotation. He's going to get the ball in whatever role that's going to be, which will be a starter, you'd have to imagine, moving forward. And he's going to keep doing what he's doing, which is extending the plate. He does a great job of cutting the ball in on right righties that he opens up the outside and gets some weak contact so you have a pitcher who's throwing the ball fantastically right now and you also got a guy that's not going to get too far ahead of himself whenever they give me the ball I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully we can win some games.